Rob, uh, the WNBA, this is their big weekend, All-Star Weekend, right before the Olympics are set to begin. And, of course, we know that the WNBA, because of Caitlin Clark mainly, but also Angel Reese, has enjoyed um, a surge. I won't even call it a resurgence. I'll say a surge in viewership and popularity and things like that. And uh, tonight, you know, like the NBA does, they've got their uh, skills competitions. And one of them, of course, the three-point shootout. But the star of the show, Caitlin Clark, declined the invitation to compete, Rob, in the three-point shootout. She's shooting 32.7% from three. But I think that, and, and this is, to take this for what it is, the shooting percentages in the WNBA are, are much lower than the NBA. So don't, you know, that's not nearly as bad as it would sound for an NBA player. So uh, a lot of lot of top players shooting that or worse uh, field goal percentage, things like that. So um, you got a problem with this, Rob? Caitlin Clark bowing out? Absolutely, I have a problem with this. It reeks, Chris. Wow. Caitlin Clark is selfish. There's no other way at looking at this. Here's the WNBA, Chris. You talked about it. Oh, you know, popularity. Oh, it's got a higher profile. People are talking about it. Even on The Odd Couple, we had a a woman who covered the WNBA asking her questions we've never done in the six-plus years we've done this show. Okay? And here's an opportunity. You know what made Caitlin Clark, Chris, capture the imaginations of a basketball fans all over is because she's able to drop that three from anywhere on the court. A logo three. She was shooting from long distance. My God. She's a female Steph Curry. I got to watch this woman. I've never seen it before. This wasn't your typical women's basketball that would put you to sleep. And now here you are with a chance to show your skills in this event for the league and you decide to bow out. No way, no how should this be cool with the WNBA. Why are you doing this now? Keep the train rolling, Chris. Give people as much as they want. Play the hits. You remember that, Chris, right? When we did uh, debate, embrace debate. I mean, that's play the hits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Play the hits. And and now you're telling me you oh I don't want to I don't want to do that what no, and I I have a problem with it. It's an event that she could possibly electrify Chris, get more people, even more eyeballs and stuff. And remember, it's not just about you when you become a professional athlete. Chris, go look at some of these guys in other sports. This is your moment to try to help sell the game, right? Aaron Judge is a big star. He was in the, the home run derby contest. Mookie Betts. This year, Chris, was he? Not this year, but I'm saying he has done Most it. Most of the stars weren't in it this year. Right? I'm done, but but even I like had a bunch of, you know, but even like tier, a, a even like a Mookie second. Betts, who's not even a home run hitter, Chris did it. Right? I'm saying these are opportunities to sell the game. I remember at one point some people were like, uh, NBA players, or, or I think, didn't want to go to the All Star game. No, you can't do that. That's when you sign up for this. This helps sells the game. And I'm just saying, she blew a golden opportunity. And, and this is not the Olympics. This is totally different. She gets paid by the WNBA. The WNBA needs Caitlin Clark. And you know what she did? She turned a blind eye to the league. And I think it's a mistake. Rob Parker. Stop it! Get off your soapbox. Get off your high horse. Get off your self-righteous high horse. Hasn't Caitlin Clark done enough? I mean, my goodness. The girl is carrying a whole league on her back. And if anybody wants to dispute that, look at the numbers. Her games double the rest of the league's games as far as viewers' uh, attendance. She has the highest rated games on every network the league has ever been on. She is single-handedly, 
And people don't like it. It's not to say she's the first great player. She certainly is not. She's not even the best player in the league right now. Shout out to Asia Wilson. But she is single-handedly putting this league on the mainstream map. She is. Angel Reese is playing great, and she's got a little storyline too, but don't get it twisted. I just said it. The ratings, the viewership, the attendance all shows Caitlin Clark is carrying the league. And she has gone from her NCAA season, NCAA tournament, straight into the WNBA. Now she's going to, you know, get a, her first break in darn near a year, it feels like. And on top of all of the basketball and just carrying the league from a basketball standpoint, she is uh, just for, you know, no, no doing of her own had her name thrown into racial conversations, had her name thrown into conversations about sexuality. Uh, I mean, she has been every talked about ad nauseum. Women, athletes, non-athletes, casual fans, diehards. She has had certainly more pressure and more of a burden on her these last few months than any player in the WNBA for sure. And it's arguable any basketball player in America. I, you, it's, I say arguable because obviously the NBA is such a bigger game and, and you know, it's such so much more popular. And we're talking about them every single day. So that's why I would say, you you know, you might not want to go that far, but it's arguable because she's one player. And she's got, you know, carried this whole league. I, I'm with you. It'd be nice if she was in it. But if she needs a break for a night, I mean, on top of all I said, Rob, you know that they when they started the season, her team in the first few weeks, first month of the season, played like twice as many games as some of the teams. They were, they were just, hey, this is our new star. Put her on TV every night. Play them, have them play games every other night while the other teams are resting. That's one reason Indiana Fever are playing better now because they're starting to get normal breaks in between games. And she will have tomorrow night in the all-star game against the best players in the world. I mean, not even your, this is, to me, this is like, Bigger than a typical all-star game because they're playing the Olympic team, which, just like in the men, is a dream team. And she's going to be front and center. It'd be nice tonight if she was there. But the real selling point, the real thing everybody's going to tune into is that game when she faces the best players in the world. On the, They're all on the same team. And Diana Taurasi, who... You know, it has made amends and all that. But, you know, talked a little stuff. You know, she going against her. So it, I, I just think that she's had so much on her shoulders. I am certainly not going to jump on her for her deciding. I, I, I'd rather not. I don't feel, I don't want to do it. I anymore. think you made my case about how important she's been this year. And if, my God, a three-point shooting contest, Chris, which is not like playing a game. It's a skills competition. I don't know what it's going to take you, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes to put up some shots. You're not even playing basketball like you would be playing a game. It's skill competition. It's easy to do. It would have been great. And everybody – I mean, I ain't saying she's afraid of the pressure. I'm just saying she, she can't take a night off, right? No, no, right, not this year. Stop. It. All right, that's what I'm saying. There's no reason she can't take a night off. Take All a night right, off on it, it Sunday. It is the I couple – Eight seven seven ninety nine on Fox. She's not Your going thoughts. to the Olympics, Chris. She got a month off. She needs it. She's, She's got been, a month been off. Been going hard. So she got a month since, off, since but she couldn't do basketball this. Basketball started. The and, other girls weren't doing that. And you know how this works pros. too. The other thing too, real quick, is that you know everybody doesn't get to see the All Star game. You might get either or. So some people have tickets for the skills competition tonight or some people have tickets for the game. Everybody's not going to both events. So the people tonight 
who are They're hoping against sledding. hope. They're getting. She's not. I mean, sorry, she can't be. It's she just hurt like you, them it's tonight. It's just like you've said, Rob. It's not her responsibility. All right, it's it's when she, when the people go to her games, they expect her to play. That's her responsibility. They got a whole league of uh, and, and several all star players that the, the people can go watch tonight. The, the, whether she was in it tonight or not, I don't think it will matter one iota in terms of the popularity of the league. Chris, we because ha- it's going to be about tomorrow night's game. That's bigger than this three point shootout. I, I, you know what? This has had a huge impact at the uh, uh, front office uh, of the WNBA. I just called up the commissioner of the WNBA about this whole situation, and this is what's her response. <laughs> Eight seven seven ninety nine, or you can do better than that, Rob Parker. What, what's the commissioner of, the na- of WNBA's name? Uh, Pebble. <laughs> Never heard of him. Eight seven seven ninety nine. I know it's a woman, right? It's a woman. So I, there you go. It better be. It I'm better a woman. Be. There you go. Uh, 